Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in. I'm Sarah, that's Ellis, and this is our truck camper. We love to adventure in the great outdoors, and we have hiked, camped, and splashed in some truly amazing places over the last few years. We don't know where all we'll get to visit in the future, but we want to continue adventuring, and we're taking you along with us. After many weekends working on projects, we have finally finished the remodel of our camper, which was an adventure of its own. So this means that it is time to finally get back out there part-time. This time around in our new rig. Follow along to see where our adventures take us next. All right, so over breakfast, I figured out our plan for today, our drive plan, and probably where we're gonna stay. We're gonna check out one place that I hope is gonna work out, and if it doesn't, we'll just keep driving on another couple hours to somewhere I have been before, and we'll enjoy the time out there for sure. Alice likes it out there, I liked it out there. Last time we camped out there, we woke up to our vehicle absolutely surrounded by a herd of cows, so we'll do that maybe, but we'll try out this other location first, see if we can try somewhere new. because it is a Saturday but it was still surprising because supposedly this campground sees very light usage. Uh, there was a little bit of boondocking nearby and I toyed with the idea of staying there. Um, Alice and I walked around for probably about five or ten minutes and in that length of time she managed to get into two cactus and I also got into the cactus. So we are moving on to find greener pastures. Thank you. 
made it! Yay! We pulled into camp a little bit before six and I right away went to just making dinner um, for Ellis and me. We are tired and hungry. Well, today certainly didn't go as planned. A lot more driving than I anticipated, more cactus than I anticipated, but still it was a good day and we are looking forward to another tomorrow. It looks like we may be in for a rainy evening, so Elsa and I are mainly just going to hang out here in the camper. Also, I'm packing up to leave in a hurry this morning because we have plans to meet my parents in a town a couple hours from here for a little bit of hiking and some lunch before we head back off doing our own thing again and they go back to their campground. We need to be all packed up and out of here in like five minutes in order to meet them on time. So check back in with you guys once we're on the road. They are singing to the tune of a song, and the wind is gently ringing the bell that brings the morning, the welcome of the dawn. The voice of the robin. The red leaves are falling, the barn owl is calling, the welcome of the dawn. The dogs will be howling in the early morning light. out in the ending of the night, the welcome of the dawn. The nights are turning colder, soon the falling of the frost, soon the summer will be over. Feel the changes closer at the welcome of the dawn. The trees 
things they are singing to the tune of a song. So we made it to our destination for today's trip and it is busy. Sorry for all the road noise. We are parked parallel and some parking alongside the main street here in town and it is a happening place. Turns out we were a lot closer to this town than I thought we were when we were camping last night. It took us about an hour and 45 minutes to get here instead of like two or three hours like I was anticipating. So we beat my parents and our friends here by a long shot so ellis and i are just now hello sitting in the camper making some more coffee hello what do you have to say did you want to come down sorry i'm in your way there you go don't climb on the table though that's the rule you sent something wasn't about you for a minute and you had to fix that huh all right we're making coffee We tried walking around the streets a little bit like we had planned, but it was just way too busy this weekend. So Alice and I ended up out at a nice park and she is enjoying watching some folks rock climb over here behind us. Hi, sorry for the quick change of scenery. We retreated into the camper so I could explain things a little bit better. When mom, dad, and our friends arrived, we all set out to walk on the streets of the town and go into some of the shops. Um, and I took Ellis with us. It was an absolute crowded mess there in town. It was just way too much input for Ellis. I do take efforts pretty regularly to try and socialize her, but that was still way too much, way too overwhelming for her. So I decided to go ahead and remove Alice and I from that situation. Mom and dad and our friends are still there to do a little bit more shopping. And we'll catch back up with them a little later on today and still have lunch together somewhere. Maybe we'll make a picnic of it. I don't know. But anyway, I just want to take a moment to explain that because I think it's important to note if you are traveling with a dog, especially a high energy, high anxiety dog like Ellis is. I love her to bits but she does get really anxious in crowded places. So sometimes the reality of this kind of traveling is that I have to leave sooner than I expected just so that way Ellis and I are able to stay safe and happy and enjoy our day. Oop, I just got a call from mom. They are on their way to join us and we're gonna go have lunch and then I think that we're gonna go back our separate ways and Ellis and I will go find our next place to camp. Sorry, I know this video has been a little bit all over the place. It's mainly been driving. Oh my goodness, I've done way more driving the past 48 hours than I anticipated. But it still has been a really fun time. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. See you again next weekend. Bye for now. Alice, get your feet off the table. Feet back. Get down. Get back. Get back. Let's go back. Go back. They're good. No, no. There you go.